I noticed you the other day But I'm so awkward, I just walked the other way You independent like your dad, but got your mother's face We could be the couple, other couples Alright, kicking it off this evening with the first shoe This is the shoe that started everything for me um, I got this shoe from my dad And this was probably back to 2002 But my very, very first shoe that had any significance to it Was actually my um, high school basketball varsity team shoe The seniors got to pick it out And here it is, the Air Jordan 14. So the best part about this shoe is that it's actually really comfortable and you can tell I've wore it to heck, you know, like I've played in a bunch of club games and a bunch of, you know, just season games and stuff like that for four years. So these guys have taken a beating. These are cool to see up close because they've been worn so much. Um, they do yellow here around the, the bottom and these little um, kind of fly, uh, flimes, <laughs> flares or flicks do peel off just because like people are probably stepping on your toes or like this is a, a pressure zone for the side of your foot and it kind of peels away um, but if you wanted to get a close-up on that it does can you see it peel off this was honestly my favorite shoe, so this is my number one, and I wanted to show you guys why. First off, wearing this sweet Cabo, Cabo or Cabo San Lucas shirt from my mom. She travels all over the place, and she gets us these crazy shirts, like the vacation shirts that everyone gets. I have a ton of them, so I'm just gonna keep wearing them. But back to the sneakers. The first shoe that I want to talk about is the the Nike Air. These are the 270 Reacts, I believe. I love the colors on them, or in the sneaker world they call what colorway. There's this light pink salmon looking color. I've always liked that color pink. I don't know, my mom told me one time that it goes well with my skin. Mama's boy. Yeah, mama's boy. Part of this shoe that really caught my eye is the bottom of how nice and bright blue it is. It's kind of crazy. And uh, the material of it, you have this like felt material at the top of the shoe. This is an awesome shoe. Definitely pretty cool. I like the look of it. And uh, check it out. So that's bringing me to my second shoe. The shoe that you know, throughout middle school, I, I'd seen them growing up, and then in high school, a lot of people um, that grew up at, around the time that I had, around the early 2000s, they had like a big emo punk skater period, and everyone was wearing the chucks, like the low tide chucks in black and white. And I just loved them. I thought all the girls that wore them looked super dope. I thought the dudes that wore them looked super dope. And I'm like, man, wait till I get my hands on some of those, I'm gonna look super dope too. These chucks are amazing. I don't really have to talk much about them other than they go with like so many different outfits. You can wear them with dresses, you can wear them with shorts, just everything, you know, they're super classic. But the only thing that I want to talk to you guys about is like just make sure you feel comfortable or right or like connected to the Converse or Chuck that you do wear. And I feel like everyone has a different Chuck that's good for them. So this shoe right here is awesome. This is the Adidas Nike shoe, the, what are they called? The I-5923. Uh, this shoe is super comfortable, as you can tell. The sole is just, I mean, when you're walking around on hard surfaces, it, it really is amazing on my foot. Uh, as I mentioned, I got flat feet, so this just warms to my foot. The material is, is stretchable. Uh, I don't know if you'd run in this. I run in mine just because I really like it. But uh, I have this in multiple colors. The only reason I like wearing is one, comfortable and comfortability obviously is awesome. Uh, two, they have different colors. I have them in like six different colors. I beat them all up. And these are fairly affordable. The ones I get are fairly uh, affordable. I scope them out, make sure I get the right deals, you know, and whatnot. And then I just ruin all of them. <laughs> okay. 
So uh, I'll find them at the outlet mall and then I'll scoop a couple up and then typically I use my wife's student discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Nikes are super comfortable. I love giving these as gifts as well because it's just a nice shoe that goes well with everything, whether you're wearing uh, like pants. Uh, I've worn these with khakis like at a professional event, trade shows. Uh, I wear this with like a white shirt or something like that. But red, you know, red used to be my favorite color growing up and then it was always red, yellow, uh, and white. And I, I love the, the colors that pop and honestly the colors that pop were actually the most affordable at a store. Alright, so number three. Uh, this one was supposed to be for my husband. It was a gift because I had a pair of Jordans and he never had a pair of Jordans. So I, I decided to get him these. Um, it has like a herringbone fabric on it. I think these are considered what most people call the team Jordans. Like they're supposed to be for training or, you know, not just a sneakerhead shoe. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for an airport shoe. Bam! So I don't know if you've seen a shoe like this. These look like the Chucks. I don't know what the proper term for this is, but shoes is a pretty big part of, I guess, our lifestyle just because growing up, you, it was like the most important thing that every birthday that you could go out and find something, anything you wanted, you know, the, that, you know, my mom would save up for. That was like the best time, you know, going to the sneaker store. And you're just like, oh, I get to pick any shoe I want. So for this one, I'm not really a big coach fan but honestly a lot of filipinos like in my family this is all they buy <laughs> like everyone's got a coach purse like that's the first purse like that you you get as a filipino when you have the money you're like i'm gonna go get the coach yeah so then um i got this when i was visiting family in in uh, texas and we were going through, uh, my wife's turned me into a big Star Wars fan. Like we watched, I think every single uh, movie. But uh, this one was unique, man. I, when I saw this, I fell in love with it because I, I don't even like this shoe. I don't like Chucks at all, but just like the design and the thought put into it, like the, this unique patch right here, may the force be with you. I mean, that's cool, man, come on. Like if this wasn't even coach, if this was something else, I would still rock these. But they have um, these in black shoelaces. Uh, they have a nice coach pattern to it. I think it's just a really cool shoe. Wait, what do you do? I take my pants, tuck it in the shoe a little bit, make it look nice so people see that. You know, shoes tie into design, and Amanda will talk about that a lot. But this has been fun. It's been a fun collaboration with Amanda. And uh, looking forward to do another uh, episode, hopefully. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our sneakers. This is just round one. We wanted to just give you a little here, a little there about what's in our closet. Um, we actually have the same shoe size. Um, I'm 11 in women's and Brian's 9 and a half in men. So, um, but I, there's other aspects. I just wanted to talk to you guys about so much stuff. We have a lot to do with design. I got my master's degree in um, interior design and I just love um, all forms of artwork. It is all encompassing and I love to bring that aspect with the shoes because shoes are definitely an art form to me. Everyone kind of considers them a sculpture in their, their own way and art is very subjective and that's why we pick these shoes because we are liking these shoes. <laughs> so without further ado, Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more. We also have tons of different other design videos, but there will definitely be more shoes. Press the like button to let us know that you guys actually liked this. So, signing off. Is it true that there's a chance you could be